two Girl Scout troops in Oregon were apparently hosts, coaxed, fooled into believing they'd made a massive corporate cookie sale. 6,000 boxes of them. Then they learned the truth and were stuck with all those sweets. They staged a fire sale yesterday. And ABC's Tanya Rivero is here to tell us how it went. Good hey, morning, Dan. It's hard to imagine what could motivate someone to play such a cruel trick on Girl Scouts. The money they were counting on for summer camp and to benefit a homeless shelter suddenly vanishes, but these girls didn't let it get them down. It's one of the tastiest American traditions. And these Portland, Oregon Girl Scouts thought they'd made the sweetest sale ever, selling 6,000 boxes of cookies until it all went sour. They placed a fake order on us, and they didn't know that it hurt our feelings a lot. The two troops were left holding the bag, or rather the boxes, when the $24,000 corporate order turned out to be a hoax. I was the one that had actually ended up taking the order, so this was a situation that I took personally. The order, apparently placed by a woman who worked at a local company and whom many of the troop mothers knew, so there was no reason to doubt the sale until it came time to collect. And I contacted the mother's company and they said we have no idea what's going on. But when word got out, the Girl Scouts had been duped. An emergency sale at their Portland headquarters was announced. We have Samoas, Ositos, Thin Mints, Savannah Smiles. And hundreds of Scout supporters showed up. I'd like a case of the shortbread and a case of the Thin Mints. By the end of the day, half the inventory had been cleared out. Thank you. To the tune of $12,000. For the girls, the experience is a big life lesson, another way the Girl Scouts has helped them grow. For every one person that has you know, bad intentions. There are hundreds more with good intentions and good hearts that are here to, to help you. Scouts honor. And the Girl Scouts say no money changed hands, so no charges will be filed. And there will be another sale next week to hopefully sell the remaining boxes. We don't doubt they will. But if you're hoping for Samoas, apparently you're out of luck. Dan and Bianca, they've already sold out of those. Aww. Dan, did you buy them all? Exactly. What a great group of girls. <laughs> They're really know? fantastic. Yeah, great all right. story. All right, Tanya, thanks.